back to basics, super simple solo overnight in the woods tonight. 80% chance of rain throughout the day, highs of 12 degrees Celsius, lows of 8 degrees Celsius. That temperature is slowly creeping up and it's about time. We've blown the cobwebs off of some of the kit we're using today. Our shelter consists of the Hungarian army Lavu and we'll be setting this up as an open shelter for a couple of reasons. Number one, I like to see my surroundings, be able to feed the fire from the shelter and whatnot. Also, I'm five foot 10, so when this is set up in its original form, I just about fit inside of it. Removing the center pole helps in that regard, but it's still a tight squeeze, so we'll go get this set up and we'll move on to the next piece of forgotten kit. So what we've gone and done is we brought pegs out that are too big for the eyelets and they won't go through the eyelets. So all we're going to do is thread this piece of cord through the eyelet. Make a bigger knot and that will hold our peg in place, a little hack. So depending on how long you've been with us here on the channel, I was looking through my cupboard of goodies and I came across this, the OEX Bush Pro Bivy. This was the first bivy I ever brought, the first bivy I ever used, and I completely forgot I had it. It fared me well at the start of the channel and I'm sure it will fare me well tonight. And I, I can't remember having any issues with it. I think I stopped using it strictly because I found a, a newer piece of kit and you know how we do, we find something new, better, newer, uh, we just use that. and then this gets forgotten. Mega windy. So that's it, that's us, that shelter set up, and it's coffee time. And I'm not pulling out the Crusader cook set or the wood stove because finally, after months of longer boiling times and months of carbon mess, we've got ourselves another gas stove. So this is a super cheap gas stove from Amazon, but if it's anything like my previous gas stove, which was super cheap down from Amazon, it should do us for the next couple of years, fingers crossed. So this stove is almost the exact replica of uh, my previous gas stove and the appealing thing to me about these stoves is they come with this adapter I've never once used this always this because it's much easier and cheaper for me to find these bottles than it is the other bottles
So my previous gas stove actually kicked the bucket at a pretty terrible time too. It was uh, during that three day stealth camp we did. I think it was on day two. Uh, so I suppose it could have been worse. It could have been day one. And in no time at all, we had boiling water. I actually added some water also to have some lunch. We have a late lunch, but needs must. And this is what I'm talking about, about the carbon. See, all this horrible carbon gets everywhere. So this was just in my bag, and now it's covered in carbon. I'm gonna have to wash my bag out. So update on the forecast. It's now just gonna be super windy for the rest of the day and I can't stand the wind. Worst weather condition ever. Now, I don't know how they got that rain so wrong. 80% chance of rain, pretty significant number. Do not know how they manage it. But maybe the rain just blew over. <laughs> So it's great to have another gas stove, but just because we have another gas stove doesn't mean we're gonna be using it all day. It's good to try out new things, new methods, and see what we can learn. So for the actual cooking side of things, which isn't actually cooking again, I'm just gonna be boiling up some water, camping food, we're gonna be revisiting our old friend here. So before we lose too much light tonight, I'm gonna to be taking a cut off this tree and looking into making ourselves a Swedish torch style fire to cook on and warm ourselves by tonight. So we have our log here, not gonna cut all the way into it, probably about halfway down, maybe just a little over halfway, uh, just crisscross, and then we can stuff it with uh, some tinder. See what happens. Son of a bitch. not even near halfway all right so we're just gonna have to make do with this I really wanted to make uh, larger crevices to stuff tinder into but I mean really we can see what happens uh, we've got enough light still that I'm just gonna collect some firewood just in case because uh, I'm not all that confident Right, so we collected some firewood for a fail safe if this does not work. Got a hand for the birch bark, hand for the pine needles, and I've got some twigs here. So uh, let's put it together and see if it works. Being oxygen to it shouldn't be an issue. So I didn't think it was going to fly. If I had more battery on that mini chainsaw, maybe we could have made it work. But all it is now is a part of our campfire. And here comes the rain. Obviously another advantage to canvas is you get those windy days like today and you get a few embers blow over, it's not going to hit the canvas and then completely melt it. So that's always a plus. It would start raining just as I get the fire going, huh?
So I reckon that rainfall earlier made up for more than that 80% chance of rain that was supposed to be here all day. It, it came down. Now let's get our meal heated. This is that steak, vegetables and dumplings that I wish I had the other week. Gravy. Well, number one, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna piss me off. That's better. The first spoonful, all vegetables. It's been that type of week. So now I'm gonna chow down on this steak, vegetables, and dumplings. Enjoy the fire, and then we'll be calling it a night. It's one of those camps where you just kind of have to reinvigorate yourself kind of re-energize yourself because we all have those weeks but i hope you guys weeks have been better than mine so yeah i'm gonna sit back enjoy this fire enjoy this food and i'll see you guys in the morning